Ah bonjour, today's vlog day 845. It is a very bright suddenly uh, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning. I think it's Thursday, and I need to go for a run. Jet lag has woken me up well before dawn today. I think I woke up at like 5:30, and then just kind of lay in bed thinking and trying to go back to sleep until about 6:30. It is now 7 o'clock. I'm gonna go for a run. But before I go for a run, Tim, thank you so much for this ring light. I've always wanted a ring light. I'm really excited to finally have this put together and be using it because I, I left pretty much as soon as I got it, and I've been waiting for the right opportunity to illuminate myself. Uh, in the increasing darkness of winter. So thank you, Tim, very much for sending this. I, I can't wait to, I don't even know how this looks. And it's adjustable, like we can make it like dimmer. I don't know if this is maybe a more appropriate lighting for how dark it is in here. Probably not. We can make it really, wow, really painfully bright as well. Holy smokes. This thing is murderous. Do I have cool rings in my eyes? Because I'm having rings burned into my eyes, if nothing else. Okay. Oof, oof. Oh, okay. Let's go for a run. Three, two, no. Three miles. Not a very long run, but I'm trying to break in my new shoes. Thank you, Dad. Speaking of awesome gifts, my dad hooked me up with a new pair of running shoes. Same shoes I had before. Wow, they look much cleaner and happier, and we'll see how long that lasts. That was nice. It's a good way to wake up in the morning, especially if you have no choice but to wake up in the morning. Not a shower. Get a few little things done around the apartment and head to the Peloton because I haven't been down there in a while. And you know, I'm gonna try and get caught up on my communications today. Emails, 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 and messages, and everything else. Okay, oh. this is a quick update. So today I was planning on getting a little bit more something something for the chateau and Pushan is gonna get something for his, uh, his, his, he's got some equipment he wants to get. He's gonna hold off on that for the moment. I'm not sure either, I'm waiting on one thing before I buy the thing I wanted to get today to finish out the chateau, but I thought at least I'd give a touch point. For those of you who haven't been around for a while, I had five goals at the beginning of 2018. Five that I really wanted to work hard towards completing by the end of the year and I've gotten fairly close. These are all representative of a number of those goals. Uh, the four that remain, the one that we already popped is that I reached 10,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for joining in on that one. And then the rest are up here. So the one we've been talking about the most lately is Room de Chateau. Room de Chateau has been the one that's been kind of the driving force. The bed is the biggest part of that. The couch is a part of that as well. Soon we'll have lighting in here beyond this guy as well as a rug on the floor, a TV on the wall, which is what I'm thinking about getting today. But we'll pop this one very soon. This one feels fairly certain. The other piece that we have for that is the painting that my sister did, and then she wrapped it so wonderfully in this shoe box. I was just talking about how my dad gave me a pair of running shoes. This is the box that it came in, or what's left of it. Just a little bit. Boom. That looks great. We'll put that up there for now. I will, I'm debating on whether I should, I think I should frame it. I, need, I think I need to find a frame. Second thing. This one is Agnar's box. I really wanted to sell Agnar's box by the end of this year. I revised it. I queried a whole bunch of agents. I got some rejections, some silent responses. It didn't go anywhere. I thought that I might be able to actually complete this just by kickstarting it in the next month or two. But the thing is that I really want to take some time to revise it again. Like I think it could be an even better book. And even though I'm not going to traditionally publish it at this rate, I do think it would make a fantastic read and I want to make sure that you get the best you can get out of it. So this one's probably not going to get popped in the near future. This one was dropped 20. I wanted to drop 20 pounds this year. I dropped 10 and then kind of gave up, probably gained like three or four of those pounds back. And I want, I do want to come back to this soon, if not next year, hopefully sooner. I don't know. I will. All this in total was a little ambitious, but I've lost weight before. I can do it again. It is just, it is not easy and I will give it another try. And then finally, oh, this one, going full-time creative. 
we are very close to this one, actually. This was defined as getting to 2,500 bucks a month on Patreon, basically being able to ensure that I would have enough coming in every month to pay rent if for whatever reason I got kicked out of this place, that I'd be able to cover myself moving out. Patreon has completely changed my life. Like it has improved my emotional and mental health. It has uh, enabled me to do a lot of really fun things for the vlog, to up the quality of the content, to get the camera that I got. That was one of the other goals that we passed a while ago was the, uh, an equipment upgrade. So the camera that I bought, was a result of that, a direct result of that. And uh, my time at Patreon, assuming that this is actually, you can see this, my time at Patreon was definitely a really solid reminder that this is not only possible, uh, but within reach, very much within reach. We're very close to this goal. So I'm gonna be doing a couple things in the near future to try and pump this up. And hopefully November, I mean, if, we, if, if things go well, November could be the month that we pop this. I'd be okay popping it in December as well, but I think this one's actually still very doable within 2018. So we have three bottles in total that I think we're gonna be able to pop this year, Agnar's box and dropping 20 pounds. Probably not gonna happen, but I really think that this is very doable. And so, I don't know, 60% of my goals for 2018 completed, not so bad. And a little bit of progress made on both, actually a lot of progress made. Agnar's box is much better than it was before and uh, I'm a little bit slimmer. I, I can definitely slim down more. I need to keep exercising and eating better, but uh, that's not bad. That, that feels really good for the year. In the meantime, I'm really hungry. That run has definitely upped my desire for waffles. So I think we am gonna go to the Peloton, get a waffle, some coffee, get some work done, and then we will see uh, if Pushan and I get up to a little bit of trouble this afternoon or not. But that is ultimately the plan. Now I'm gonna turn this light off before I go blind. How's that? Oh, okay. Yikes. Speaking of talking to the camera for a second, we're gonna go grab, oh, Miznan. We should probably cross the street here sometime soon because we gotta go kind of up this way. We're gonna go grab some Miznan. Uh, Jake's sister has just joined the fray. Oh, thank you. Nicole's here from Nantucket, which should make for some good stories as well. We're gonna go grab, uh, Miznan, if you don't know it, is like probably my number one recommendation if you're in the Marais and you need lunch. Fantastic, it's like Israeli-French fusion, super delicious. So we'll hit that up. And then Pushan and I are gonna go try and buy a TV. We'll see how that goes. I don't, I don't know how it's gonna go. I'll give it a try though. <laughs> Fantastic lunch as always. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Good to hang out for a little bit there. I'm gonna make my way towards the FNAC. FNAC, if you don't know, is kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a Best Buy, but with more books. It's like a bookstore, electronics store, video games, everything. So I'm gonna go there. Hopefully Pushan will be there sometime shortly after I get there, but I'm, I'm running a little bit early, which is nice. I'll we'll try to get a TV, get it mounted on the wall. The reason that I'm not sure if this is gonna work today is because I had to move some money around from the Chateau funds to get it over here, to use it. It's taking a little while, so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough today. I might have to wait till tomorrow, but we're gonna still give it a try. And um, and then I have no idea how long it takes to install, but, oh, and I just signed the contract for the bed situation, so we'll be able to fill you in on that here soon as well. Hopefully they deliver it really soon, because I, I really wanna start sleeping on my sleeping cloud. that it's amazing that I can be taking a time lapse, which I'm not right now. I just stopped, so don't worry, I'm bumping it, but it's fine. I can be standing here taking time lapses and be working on my phone at the same time, like answering emails. Just stood here for like 20 minutes waiting for Prashan, maybe 25 minutes, took like three time lapses. Got like a bunch of messages sent. It's amazing, amazing. Having my phone back, free, mine, usable. It's more than just a camera. This is a big, big plus. Okay, we're gonna go inside here in a minute whenever Prashan gets here. Check it out, kind of meander around. I don't know how much I can really film inside. There he is. <laughs> What's up? 
He's back. So then we're going to go inside. We'll wander around. We'll see a little. Well, he's got to take a phone call, so I'm, I'll still be waiting for a minute. Then we'll go inside, wander around, check some stuff out, hopefully get a TV, and we'll probably get very inspired to buy things we can't afford. Uh, but definitely have some cool thoughts and plans coming up, and if nothing else, just get to hang out, bro out over tech. I don't know how much I can film inside. Usually they're very anti-film in FNAC, but it might sneak a shot or two. We'll find out shortly. Here it goes. Well, that was ridiculous. So the one TV, there, the TV I wanted is the one I ended up getting. Almost got one that was on a discount, a little bit smaller TV. But they would, they would deliver it for free, but they wouldn't install it. We couldn't, we couldn't even pay them to install it at that point. They just wouldn't do it. So, anyways, after lots of going around in circles about the ridiculousness of that, finally got one. So it's going to be delivered on the same day as the mattress, and the chateau should be put together and pretty much ready to roll from there. So planning on popping a bottle of champagne with this guy, celebrating. Hopefully not spilling champagne all over my couch. Anyways. Or on the TV. Or on the TV. <laughs> yeah, I put the cork right through the TV. I'm gonna wish I'd bought that expensive warranty. Dead pixels. <laughs> it's all gone. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go check out some photo stuff for him and then uh, that'll be just about it for today. So I hope you enjoyed the day. I'm gonna leave you here. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, uh, oh boy, a full on Friday here in delightful Paris, France.